All right, guys, we are back with another $20 challenge here with Chef D. My name is Chef D. Here at Jerk at Night, we do your body right. Anything can happen. And he's about to make something big happen with 20 bucks. So let's get to it, Chef. All right. We are at the market now. Chef D, do you want to introduce us to where we are? We're at Union Market. This is where I've been coming since I first started the business. It's a wholesale market. So right now, we're here at the meat store, Heartland Meat Store. We're gonna get some beef ribs, turkey wings. Try to squeeze in a little goat. You tell them what you want. These guys here, they'll get the meat for you. So usually he'll cut like the oxtail for me for years. Yeah, I love this. This for soup? Holy cow. <laughs> We have the smoked turkey wings, we have the goats, and then we have the beef short ribs. 12, 13, it's about to be a feast. So right now we're at Mexican Fruits, Union Market. We're gonna get some herbs, some spices. All right, so first thing we're gonna get is the veggies. We're gonna get the bell pepper, the ginger, sweet potato, cabbage, one onion, curry. So now we're gonna get the cilantro, the thyme, the scotch bonnet, the thing that you need for the spices. Cilantro, scotch bonnet. Oh, I need the American parsley, hold on. Parsley, fresh garlic, three for a dollar. I'm only gonna get one. Scallion, and you know so we can't have a good time without time. All right, right now we're looking for a small thing of cheese. Tortillas. You have half of an orange. You can pay for half of an orange. <laughs> <laughs> this right here, no more than three dollars. So I have Jamaican jerk seasoning. We're just gonna get about 50 cents worth. Oh, you can do that here. You can do everything here. I think the average cost of everything is about like 75 to 50 cents. We're trying to get it under $8. $7.95. We got everything we need, now let's cook. Thank you for that $20. Now we're gonna show the world what we can do with it. All right, so here we have our beef ribs, turkey wing, and then we have our goat meat. Here we have our herbs, the thyme, scallion, cilantro, parsley, garlic, scotch bonnet, one bell pepper, one onion, one sweet potato, one plantain. For our quesadilla, we have our tortillas. For our nachos, we have Doritos. Then we have our cheese, seasoning, sugar, and the curry. All for how much? $20. I'm gonna make a a jerk sauteed beef ribs with sweet potato cubes, jerk smoked turkey wing, curry goat quesadilla. All right, so what's the first step, Chef? The first step is to clean your meat. What? We're gonna use a touch of vinegar. Now that we have it cleaned up, we're gonna rinse off it. The next step is we're gonna season up the meat and then we're gonna smoke it. We get our jerk seasoning, our 50 cent seasoning of our scotch bonnet pepper. This is gonna turn up the heat. So right now we're gonna just run a little bit of water underneath it to get all the juices from the pepper on it. It's clean, now you have to dress it up. It's about to go out to party. I'm gonna top it off with some jerk that I already had in the kitchen. We're gonna get a little bit of salt. You know it can't be a good time without the time. Time to smoke. No, like smoke on the grill. So right now, we're at the jerk pit. We're gonna smoke it proper. I have some thyme and some cilantro. We're gonna put it underneath the flame and make sure that it gets smoked properly. This one should take about maybe 20 minutes. Cause you just want it to get the smoke flavor and everything. Right. You don't want to overcook it. Now we're gonna prep those veggies. Oh! Oh, you okay? Oh my goodness. So the difference between the plantain and the banana is the plantain is a little more softer and it fries better. The banana is a little more, it's thinner, it's not as dense. So the vegetables all done prep up. Now we're gonna go outside for check on the meat. So now we're gonna take this jerk season in here and we're gonna brush up the rest. Look at that. Wow, dude. Yo, you tell you, said this thing bud. Lubrication. Yo, you think we serve dry meat around here? No, sir. 
All right, now we're gonna go inside. We're gonna put it on the flat top and then in the oven. So the next step is we're gonna take a little bit of our curry. We're gonna put it in the pot. We're gonna let that simmer. We're gonna take that turkey and we're gonna put it in a little water so it can soak it up and get nice and juicy in the oven. We'll put it in the oven, 400 degrees, 10 minutes. Now, let's go to the flat top. So right now, next step, we're gonna take some of the meat from the rib and we're gonna chop up it real small for the nachos. So right now, we're gonna get the herbs inside of the pot for our curry goat. Onions, scotch bonnet, scallions. Can't forget the garlic. So we're gonna cut this goat real small so that I can cook faster. This is what we call curry in a hurry. All right, so we just put the curry goat into the pot. We're gonna let that simmer for about 30 minutes. Now we're gonna check on our turkey wings. So for me personally, I see like a little bit of pink in there, so I'm gonna just put it in there for a little longer. Okay. But it's, it's pretty much done for the most part, okay. bro. I want it like falling off the bone. Yeah, so we're doing the plantains now. I think we should do the plantains and then the cabbage. How long in the oil? Well, three to five minutes. We're gonna put our beef ribs on the grill to give it a nice crunch. That's the juice from the seasoning. Now we have our meat for the nachos. We got our jerk seasoning from earlier. You know, when it's on the grill, it loses its flavor, so you have to make sure it stays flavorful. Doritos, our parsley, let's shake it up. Hey, in Iowa, they call this a walking taco. Almost done. All right, so our ribs are pretty much done. Gonna do our stir fry cabbage. Almost there. Wow, nice. Okay, we're adding a little more sugar. We want the sweet potato nice and sweet. Hey, this goat is probably the best goat I've ever made. All right, we'll have the cabbage done up now, nice and lightly stir fried. So the only thing we'll have left right now is our curry goat quesadilla and our sweet potato cubes and our turkey. We're gonna get started on this quesadilla. If customer find a bone, it's over. So all the bones are out. Yes, no bones. All right, so now we take the bones out. We, now we can chop it up. Holy crap, $20 got us a huge feast. Chef, do you want to kind of go over what we have? Yo, you know what happened last time when you gave me $10. This time you gave me $20. All right, so we'll have your smoked jerk beef ribs. We'll have your walking taco with your Doritos and beef. We'll have plantain. We got your stir fry cabbage and your smoked turkey wing. And then we have our curry goat quesadilla and sweet and savory sweet potato cubes. I think we should try this curry goat quesadilla. Curry goat quesadilla? All right, yes. well, let's dig in. Mm. It's everything I expected and more. I think we should do this one. This is the beef ribs. Beef ribs. Dig in. The sauce make it better. Sauce is Let's try the sweet potatoes, yeah. Oh, man, that's good, bro. Sweet, man, sweet. sweet. You have, have a balance of sweet and savory, you know? Okay, I think we should try these nachos. No, that's fire, bro. I know. Okay, so we had to eat the turkey. Pull apart the meat. Mm. You know, it tastes like Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's <laughs> fire, bro. We got the cabbage here. Oh, this is a big bite. Mm -hmm. We're hitting all areas of the palate. We have our sweet, we have our savory, and we have our spice. You actually have the double sweetness with the plants and then the sweet potato. All right, guys, you saw it happen. $20 turned into a Jamaican feast. Chef D, where can people find you? Yo, you don't know, so we're already at 2149 Queens Chapel Road, Northeast in Washington, D.C. We'll have a location in Baltimore coming in the spring. And we'll also have our 8th Street location. Everybody knows about that's already going to open. Appreciate the support, Danny. Yes, sir. We got some more work to do. We'll see you guys next time. Done, no. <laughs>